its destination Alaska, as the crew of Star Princess face the challenge of taking five-star luxury to one of the world's last frontiers. Wow, it's like a dream suite. With two and a half thousand passengers demanding a unique experience. There we go, and there you see the whale. Oh. Captain and crew must go the extra mile. Oh, yes, sir. Fresh glacier water. Yes. Battling the navigational challenges of an extreme environment. Is that the position, Steve? 50 meters, 5-0. I'm not going to make it and the unpredictable weather to deliver the promise of a wilderness like nowhere else on Earth. Oh. This time... Come out, come out, whatever you are. On his last Alaskan trip of the season, Captain Tuvo is searching for whales. <laughs> Timothy has to gauge the value for money of a glacier tour. This is amazing. That's a massive crack. And new cruise director JC makes his nerve-wracking stage debut. I've got to make them like me. Nervous? Slightly apprehensive? Good luck. Good evening! Star Princess is in southeast Alaska, in Skagway. Population just 1,000. As a former gold rush town, locals are proud of their heritage. A breeder of traditional Alaskan dog sled puppies has brought some on board for passengers to see. <laughs> They're puppies. Everyone loves puppies. And it's not just the passengers who are enjoying a cuddle. Captain Tuvo is on his last voyage before he goes home on leave after four months away at sea. When we leave home, Obviously, we can't wait to be back at home. But when you leave the ship... Have a good day. Have a good day. You're kind of looking forward to be back. Hello. How are we doing? But before he goes, he wants to make his last cruise of the season a trip to remember. I enjoy being able to deliver what they've been traveling for. Bye. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. On the dockside, Shore Excursions agent Timothy is giving out tour information with his colleague Rex. One forty here at ten twenty. So right here, ma'am. Right here. Yeah. yeah. Rex reveals a secret to keeping the Alaskan cold at bay: chemical hand warmers. This is very warm. Give it for yourself. It's very nice. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hola. Uno momento. Timothy's keen to show off his newfound comfort. Feel. It's warm, eh? The lady took my warmers. I wasn't going to give it, but apparently I am. <laughs> he doesn't know it yet, but tomorrow, Timothy will feel a lot colder. <laughs> Star Princess leaves Skagway, heading south for the picturesque city of Juneau nearly 100 miles away. Today is new cruise director JC's first day in the job. He's now the master of ceremonies for all the entertainment on board. And we are good to go. Tonight, he's got his first big challenge, warming up the 750-strong audience for the main show in the Princess Theatre. When I was a kid, all I wanted to do was be on the stage, to be honest with you. That's, that's it. That's all I ever really ever dreamed of. He needs to deliver a slick debut performance on stage to prove he's up to the job. Tonight, it's the first time they'll get to see my face. A little nervous. I am not 100% confident, so it's a big deal. Someone else feeling the nerves is Hotel General Manager Peter. Passengers are quick to point out any flaws, so Peter's on the lookout to spot any imperfections before they do. Little paint chip. I do notice small things. Um, I've been told that it can be quite a pain. I think somebody was having red wine in the jacuzzi. <laughs> I tend to go around and be picky and um, have a bit of OCD and move things and make sure it's all lined up and it's straight. I need to speak to Dion about this. 
Keeping standards high is Peter's ultimate goal. You can walk around all day and you can continuously find things to either clean or to fix or it, it, it never ends. Passengers will give their satisfaction scores at the end of the cruise, a crucial marker of how Peter's performing in his job. It does put a little bit of pressure on you. Um, I just need to prove myself. He'll find out the results tomorrow. As day turns to evening, many of the passengers are out on deck enjoying the scenery, but hoping for a glimpse of something more. We're looking for whales. We're looking for the show. Captain Tuvo has kept his passengers happy all season and doesn't want to disappoint them on this, his last voyage. Some passengers saved their own life they mean to come to see Alaska and the wildlife. But weather and wildlife are the two things beyond Captain Tuvo's control. A very good evening. So we have quite few wild dolphins on our starboard side, passing quite close. <laughs> Everybody is ready for more action. It's whales that Captain Tuvo and his team really want his passengers to see. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Away, sir. Two points to starboard, medium way. Two way on the left hand side, the left hand side. Two way on the left hand side. 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 Left hand Finger crossed, she's going to come back. And there we go, whale on the starboard side. Quite close to us, but not too close. You can see, there we go, and there you see the whale. And once again, the starboard side, right hand side, not tail yet. So hopefully she's going to come again. Have your camera ready. Uh, 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 uh. And then, look, 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 look at that. Uh, uh, there we go. Yes, sir. A closing of an opera. It's the ending. You have to get the tail. Otherwise, you're suffering like you finish halfway. Wildlife show over. It's time for JC to put on a show of his own. This is it. This is what it all comes down to. First impressions are here. He's got to introduce tonight's song and dance performance, and the audience is already getting comfy. You've got to try and capture them just in that 10, 15 minute period. I'll put my rings of steel on for good luck. Cue cards in the pocket. And we're ready to go. Adding to JC's pressure, his boss, entertainment director Lee, is I'm here to watch. Good. Nervous? Slightly apprehensive. Good luck. Bang. The theatre is only three quarters full tonight, but a smaller crowd can be tougher to warm up. I gotta make them like me just in that short space of time. Good evening! Do you know what? Can we have the house lights on, please, JJ? Turn all the lights on. Let me have a look. I wanna see the whites of their eyes. We're gonna make friends. After three, I want you to go to the person on your right-hand side. I want you to pat them on the back three times, and I want you to say, good evening. Are you enjoying the cruise so far? One, two, three, off you go. Everybody up, right-hand side. Here we go, come on. Make friends. That's it. Would you please welcome to the stage Crystal Washington and the Star Princess Dancers. JC's done his best, but it's all about the review. Is he a hit or a miss? That was good. Thanks for coming to Showtime, guys. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, great. That's what we like to hear. Good energy. Yeah. We've been on a lot of cruises, and uh, he's pretty lively. Great. <laughs> he's so funny. <laughs> Enjoy. There is a huge relief. I'm off. I'm running. No, I feel good. I feel really good. <laughs> <laughs> 6 a.m. 
and Star Princess is on schedule to dock in Juneau, Alaska's capital city, only accessible by sea or by seaplane. Seven knots by Juneau Island. But this morning, that access is really tough. With visibility in thick fog down to 150 meters, everyone's on full alert. You cannot see where you're going. So one of your sense is limited. You have to consider a small boat could not show on the radar. Hey, not so reducing. If he's to get safely into port, Captain Tuvo will have to use all his state-of-the-art equipment and nautical know-how. Rate of turn is gently, gently reducing. Captain Tuvo is trying to dock Star Princess in Juno in thick fog. Speed nine knots are reducing. Knots reducing. He's got to make a handbrake turn to swing the ship round 180 degrees. Distance ahead, 200 meters to the bar. 200 meters. Oh, we can see the pier. At just the right moment. Distance to position, Steve. 50 meters, five zero. We're not going to make it. But Captain Tuvo is an old hand at this. This turn is coming in. 20 meter, point one. OK. We now paddle them. Well, clearance, safe. Very good. And Star Princess is now safely docked. With the fog lifting, a small city of just 31,000 people is revealed. During the summer season, cruise ships can swell the city population by another 6,000 visitors. But today, Timothy is venturing much further afield. Very excited today. Hello! He's being sent to the Mendenhall Glacier. The excursion costs passengers 350 pounds, and Timothy's mission is to find out if it's worth it. So beautiful. The wilderness, like it's so pretty here. It's amazing. Alaska's gorgeous. When passengers ask him for advice on tours, there's nothing better than a first-hand experience. This is incredible. This is all new to Timothy, but he's got his own guide. Hi, Timothy. Ted. Nice to meet you. Ted will lead him on a two-mile trek around the glacier. You have crampons on your feet? Mm -hmm. Crampons French means grab. However, they grab everything. Pant legs. Oh, OK. And you have the crampon. You can do yoga because of the spikes on the boots. <laughs> hey. Let's go trekking. As Timothy heads off to explore the glacier at one below freezing. Here you go. The stars. Yes. Yeah. Back at sea level, passengers are basking in a warmer 17 degrees Celsius. 50 years, huh? Ruth and Keith from Ohio are on Star Princess to enjoy more than just the scenery. We were here 11 years ago, and we really love Alaska. It's just a humbling place. They're also planning to renew their vows for their golden wedding anniversary. When we got married 50 years ago, we were just, you know, just young people, and uh, our love has grown over the years. And there's something romantic and special about having a captain marry you at sea. They really want Captain Tuvo to officiate tonight, but on his last day on board, he's busier than usual, and they may be disappointed. Hi, everyone. Uh-oh. More pictures. <laughs> oh, can you believe we were ever that young? <laughs> Back out on the Mendenhall Glacier, Timothy's realizing this excursion is not for the faint-hearted. So just widen these little pockets and tripping hazards in that edge there. We're just going to kind of come around this way. We're going to go in a crevice. <laughs> <laughs> That's a massive crack. Holy cow. That's <laughs> awesome. All right, this mind that edge. Gorgeous. You can get right up here. Oh, no, mind it. Don't, oh, don't, oh, <laughs> don't fall into it. <laughs> there we go. This is amazing. So these things can be up to about 170 feet deep. Oh, that's so wicked. One foot at a time, really get it in there. 
Can't have a nice little natural oh, step yeah, there, man. You're good, you're good. All this activity is at least keeping Timothy warm. <laughs> nice easy step up, perfect. Wow! <laughs> Luckily, there's plenty of drink to have with your ice. 300 year old melt water. If I drank this, would it be like. Totally fine. Yeah, just ground minerals. Yes. Oh my god. That is so delicious. <laughs> Fresh glacier water. This is incredible. After his two and a half hour trek, there's a new convert to all things icy, Timothy of the Tundra. You come to Alaska and it's all like, it's totally different. It's all nature. The landscape is incredible here. Like the mountains are all around us, so it's very peaceful. It's nice. I love it here. With Timothy and all guests back on board, Star Princess is heading to her final destination, the Canadian port of Vancouver. As Captain Tuvo leaves Alaskan waters for his last time this year... Bye. Hi, JC. Come on, come on, come on. He's asked JC to bring the princess mascot, Stanley the Bear, to the bridge. Every time we pass somebody, wave a Canadian sure. flag. So this time, we're going to wave the Canadian flag back. He's noticed that a house they pass always welcomes Star Princess back to Canada. And this time, he wants to surprise them. It's freezing. There's no one's, no one is going to be there. This is a total wind-up. Pedro, he's there. All right, we're going to release it. Hold it tight. Oh, my God, it's so heavy! <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> Don't tickle me! And a very good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen. We have on deck JC and Anne Stanley with the Canadian flag. Stop it! Stop it, Stanley! There we go. Right, where's their flag? On the hill, where you can see the flashing green and red light, our Canadian friend is waving the flag to us, we're going to reciprocate. Oh, I can see a flashing light. Oh, my gosh, it's real. There's actually somebody there. <laughs> Don't tell the captain. I thought it was a winder. Woo! Yes, there's the flag. I can see it. We've made land. How you doing, eh? Thank you for waving the flag. We're waving back. Welcome to Canada. Woo! See, that's fun. A little bit of fun, you know? Down in his office, Peter has no time for fun. The all-important guest satisfaction scores are in. Everything is on target. Good scores make me feel very good. It's, um, it makes you feel like you've achieved something. Finally, he can ease up. For tonight, at least. Oh, I'm relaxed, um, but you just have to... You have to be on top of things. You can't get too relaxed. Before tonight's party to celebrate the end of the voyage, Captain Tuvo has made time for one last job. It's not every day he gets to do a 50th wedding anniversary. Keith and Ruth are in luck. We're not really nervous. I'm not nervous. No. But it's a very special day for us. Repeat after me. I renew my commitment to you as your husband. I renew my commitment to you as your husband. I promise to always be supportive to you. I promise to always be supportive to you. In good times and in better. In good times and in bad times. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I promise to love and honor you. I promise to love and honor you. And keep you as long as we both shall live and keep you as long as we both shall live. Very good. Keith, you may now kiss Ruth, your <laughs> wife of 50 years. It was fantastic. It was more than we expected. It made it very special. Yes, it really did. 
was just great to be able to renew our vows. I love him very much. And I hope. As Star Princess heads back towards Vancouver, the party on deck five is in full swing. Hey. Good evening, Star Princess! Hello! And JC is confident being the party host. Ladies and gentlemen, raise the roof for Captain Michaeli Duvo! It's a chance to bring everyone together. Today we have Keith and Ruth celebrating the 50th wedding anniversary. They just renewed the vows today. 50 years together. Thank you. Let's have it, yes. All right. Look at that. After braving fog, rain, and navigating through sea ice, and with memories of glaciers, whales, and a flag-waving bear, Captain Tuvo's last Alaskan voyage of the season comes to an end. And a very good morning to you all, ladies and gentlemen, and crew. Now we safely dock in Vancouver. Today is the day I'll go home. And believe me when I say I will miss you. Oh, my friend. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And nevertheless, bye bye. Dammi un abbraccio, Peter. Captain Tuvo may be leaving, but at four o'clock today, with a new captain and a new set of passengers, Star Princess will once more be heading back up to Alaska and its spectacular wilderness. I'm gonna miss him. Well, what can you do? Life goes on.